Welcome back to Pharmacy House Australia. Today, we have another exciting scenario that will not only assist you in your pharmacy exams but also provide you with valuable insights for real-world cases. Stay until the end for additional study questions. Now let's dive straight into it. Hi. What can I do for you today? Hi could I please get this prescription filled? Of course was the prescription for yourself. Yes I am Mrs. Rose and the prescription is for myself. Could you please tell me if you have had this medication before? This one is actually a new medication and I haven't had it before. And has the doctor given you any instructions regarding this medication? My doctor mentioned that I should take it 30 minutes before breakfast and on an empty stomach. That's good to hear. In order for me to be thorough, could you please tell me what other medical conditions you have or if you are taking any other medications, including over-the-counter medications and herbal products? I am taking the following medications exactly as prescribed by my doctor. Could you please tell me how you are going with these medications and the results of your most recent blood test? The GP checked my thyroid function this morning and prescribed the Oroxine. We had been monitoring it for a few months now as I was feeling cold and tired but the doctor did not prescribe anything until today. The blood test also revealed that I still had anemia so the doctor wanted me to continue on iron tablets for another 3 months. My liver and kidney function were normal. I have had hypertension and atrial fibrillation for over 5 years and it is stable as is my osteoarthritis. I have been taking the paracetamol regularly for over 6 months and it's been great. I'll be seeing the doctor next in 4 weeks to have my INR and thyroid levels checked. And how is your diet and exercise? Do you smoke or drink alcohol? I maintain a healthy and stable diet and go for regular 40 minute walks daily. I do not smoke nor drink alcohol. We recommend pausing the video here and writing down what you would do next. Did the pharmacist miss any questions? What problems can you identify? Once done, click resume. Thank you Mrs. Rose. There's a potential interaction between your thyroid function and warfarin, which could impact your health. I'd appreciate your permission to contact your doctor and have a discussion regarding this matter. Your next INR test is scheduled in 4 weeks, and we want to ensure your well-being during this period. Would it be okay for you to wait briefly while I make this call? Yes I am happy to wait while you make the call. Hi doctor, I'm Brianna the pharmacist next door. I have a mutual patient of ours Mrs. Rose who has recently been prescribed thyroxine 50 micrograms. I've noticed that she is also on warfarin. As you may be aware thyroid hormones may potentiate the anticoagulant effect of vitamin K antagonists. Severe coagulopathy has been reported in patients on thyroid hormones and warfarin. Prolonged INR and reduced anticoagulant dose requirement have also been documented. Close monitoring of INR levels is strongly advised. Mrs. Rose is scheduled to see you for an INR test in 4 weeks but in light of this information I believe it would be best for her to see you sooner in a few days. What are your thoughts? Thank you for informing me, Brianna. I appreciate you reaching out. I believe it is a wise decision to have Mrs. Rose get her INR levels checked every few days at this stage. Please kindly ask Mrs. Rose to set an appointment with me in four days' time. Thank you for your patience, Mrs. Rose. I have just spoken with your doctor, and we have decided it is best for you to set an appointment with your doctor in four days. In the meantime please monitor any signs of bleeding as that may indicate a change in your INR levels. Do you have any questions? Thanks so much. I don't have any questions. Great now I'd like to provide you with some counseling on how to use the thyroxine 50 micrograms. The brand your doctor has prescribed is oroxine which should be kept in the fridge. Each tablet is to be swallowed whole 30 minutes before breakfast daily. You should make sure to take your vitamins and supplements at least two hours apart from this medication. Thyroid levels can take a few weeks to stabilize and during this time your doctor will perform regular blood tests. I will also give you a CMI which explains what to do if you miss a dose, how to store your medication and possible side effects to look out for. Thanks so much for this information. See you next time.
Don't forget to also check out our video on how to comprehensively counsel patients using the link in the description below. Now, before we wrap up, I'd like to provide you with some study questions that can help you feel more confident when dealing with this type of scenario in your exam. These questions are designed to cover different aspects of this case study, ensuring that you have a comprehensive understanding of the topic. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. We also have an intensive intern pharmacist oral exam prep course and I'll leave a link to it in the description below.